Welcome everyone. This is Michael from the Marks Group Live. Happy to be giving you today an overview of project dashboards in Zoho Projects. After this video is over, please feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this topic or on anything else Zoho. Also, be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users and helping us improve our video library. Zoho Projects is a powerful online project management information system with enough features to satisfy informal, semi-professional, and maybe even fully credentialed project managers. For a first introduction to creating a project in Zoho Projects, setting up some tasks and some milestones, and working your project, please see our introductory video on getting started with Zoho Projects. Today, I'm going to focus on the Zoho Projects dashboard for an individual project. We are going to look at where to find the project dashboard, we're going to look at toggling the components on and off, we're going to look at moving components, and we're going to look at changing the graph type, and we're going to discover a tiny little bug that, well, knowing about it is probably going to help you. Now before we get into our Zoho screens, if your screen doesn't look exactly like mine, don't panic. Different versions of Zoho are set up slightly differently, and features may change from time to time. Most of what I demonstrate today should work across all versions of Zoho with minimal differences. If you try to replicate what I'm doing and you run into a snag, drop us an email at support at marksgrouplive.com and we'll see what we can do to help you out. So let's get started. And let's see, sorry, that's coming later. Let's get started on where to find dashboards. Uh, let's see there we are there's my Zoho uh, projects screen now I'm in the B2 project if I go home let's start home here is a dashboard but we're not going to cover that in today's class instead we're going to look at a project dashboard and here's a project that I recently created the B2 project now if your project management style is anything like mine you'll find yourself spending a great deal of time in these tabs milestones issues tasks <coughs> projects have tasks lots and lots and lots of tasks calendars issues documents timesheets and so on you might think that if i click on create b2 the project name up at the top that will give me my dashboard but it actually doesn't in zoho projects the dashboard is just another tab off to the left side along with feed, tasks, issues, milestones, etc. So here's my dashboard. It's for a project called B2. This is a very simple project that I recently set up, so there isn't much present inside in, um, in terms of those widgets that you see here. If you're a seasoned project manager, you can anticipate how busy some of these graphs are likely to become in the coming weeks if this actually were a real project. Here's a quick tour of the components. There's the weekly digest, the team status, issue status, task status, top five issue fixers, milestone status, upcoming events, timesheet summary, today's work items, a progress chart, planned versus actual time, overdue work items, and top five go-getters. Now, if you're looking at this thinking, I don't know if I like the order of those widgets, the good news is we can change them. Now, if you've already experienced dashboards and components in Zoho CRM, then there's good news and there's slightly bad news. The good news is that you won't have any trouble uh, understanding Zoho projects, dashboards, and components. The bad news is that you might be surprised at how little control you have over these components. You have one dashboard, and here's what you can do with the widgets on your dashboard. You can move them, you can turn them off, you can turn them on, and you can change the graph type. And that's about it. Let's look at some of those things right now. Enabling and disabling graphs. Sorry, enabling and disabling widgets. This is how we're going to do it. Here we see task status, top five issue fixers, and so on. There's a scrolling list there. Of widgets and I turn a widget off by unchecking it. I turn it back on by checking it. That's all there is to it. Turn it off, turn it back on. 
you'll notice that when it turns on here, if its position is up at the top, as it, when I turn it on, everything flows to the right and down. If I turn it off, whoopsie, let's put it back. If I turn it off, things will flow from the bottom right to the top left. So you find the customized dashboard under the ellipsis there. That's the standard Zoho ellipsis that says, there's more to see here. Now let's talk about moving things around on the screen. So let's put that back. Let's move things around on the screen. I can move team status up to the top. Actually, I'll move weekly status down. And then I have to click on the save button. And what I should be seeing is I should see team status and weekly digest moving, exchanging positions. Save that. There we go. Team status is up to the top left. That's the overall work status. And this other team status is task status is here. Keep track of the tasks. You know what? I want task status up at the top. So I'm going to grab that, put it up there, click save. And now it's there. There is another way to move things around on the screen. I can drag anywhere except that X. I can drag things around. What that X does is it hides that widget. You can see now that that widget is hidden. I can show it again and click Save. And there we are. We're back. Now, um, oh, I can move things vertically as well as horizontally. Um, the other way to move things is to drag them up and down here, where the top, where I'm moving up, means moving things up and to the left, and moving things down means down and toward the right. And remember to click the Save button. Another thing, so that's, uh, let's see, moving them, that's turning them off, turning them on, changing the graph type. Now if I hover inside most of these boxes, up in the upper right corner of each component, you'll see an X. Now that X hides or shows the component, but the other thing that we can do is there's a little squiggle there. Let me blow up that squiggle for you. Oopsie, that's not where I want to be. Uh, let me tell you about the bug first. When I click on this customize dashboard widget and I move things around, you can see that there's a save button there. And that save button commits my changes. Except, take a look at what happens if my screen, if my browser is actually at 100% zoom size. If my browser is at 100% zoom size, I can move things around. And what's, where's my save button? There doesn't seem to be one. So I can be moving things and get confused. Let me show you what that looks like, actually. Let me go to here. So at 100%, it looks like this screenshot off to the left, where it's labeled 100%. And you can see that there's a bit of a blue thing at the bottom right corner. If I go to 90% magnification in my web browser, I actually see the Save button. It's exactly the same screen, but with a different, exactly the same screenshot, exactly the same location but at a different magnification at 100%. Now I'm using a uh, Firefox. So this is a fairly standard browser. It's Firefox on Windows 10. So if you're not seeing a save button in your widget control in your Zoho project, try changing the screen result, um, try changing your browser magnification level and that might actually help you out. I have to admit, I was caught out by this earlier today as I was preparing this lesson. And I was not sure why it wasn't working, and then it was. All right, one more thing to show you. Um, if I hover in any of those boxes up toward the upper right, there's a little squiggle that looks sort of like the letter N. Let's blow that up. There. <coughs> Excuse me. It looks slightly like the letter N, but what it actually is, is it's a bar graph. So um, this tells us actually that this widget. I can click on that and select a different graph type. So I can select a bar chart, or I can select a pie chart, or I'm sorry if it's close to lunchtime, I can, we can set a donut type. 
Some uh, graphs don't uh, allow themselves to have different variations. The team status, that's just going to be a table. You can't work, uh, you can't change the graph style there. Here, click on that. We've got five different charts, chart types. So the, diff, uh, the number of chart types varies according to the data that is being plotted. Um, and I think that just about wraps it up. When you've uh, mastered or when you've started to have a play with the dashboards, project dashboards within each project, the next stage, of course, is to go to the home screen where you also have widgets. You have diff slightly different widgets. You have uh, more global widgets. And these may or may not be useful to you. There's a similar pattern to these as well, although I think for these, yeah. In many cases for these widgets, you can hover, and this actually goes for the project widgets as well, we can hover over a item or a datum and get detailed information about it. All right, so the good news is for uh, project widgets, as soon as you understand project widgets, uh, global widgets, so uh, global widgets for your home screen, your project manager widgets, those will be fairly easy for you to grasp and to work with. Let's recap what we've take a look, taken a look at today. Let's go here and let me go here. In this session, we looked at how to find the project dashboard. We looked at toggling components on and off. We looked at moving components around on the screen. We took a look at changing the graph type. We looked at uh, actually a bug or a, um, an undocumented browser feature where in order to see the save button in the widget drop-down menu, you, it helps to actually have potentially have your browser set for 90% rather than 100%. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Check out our library for other training videos like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes or for questions that you may have about Zoho, please email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. And thanks for viewing.